Hello, my name is Elvis. I would like to show my new calculator. Uh, perhaps you already know my calculator. It's a, a web financial calculator that works like the HP 12C. Uh, but today I would like to show a different calculator. It is, how can, uh, as you can see, uh, has diff a bit uh, different functions. Basically, uh, the new version has these functions that uh, people seldom use, like bond and depreciation. They were removed in favor of another financial functions related to Black Scholes model, that in my opinion are, uh, are more useful nowadays. So this is kind of a, the, cal the financial calculator of my dreams. So I put it together, it is available in the web, as you can see, and is also available for uh, Android and iPhone as apps in the uh, app stores uh, of these uh, platforms. So let's take a look. Uh, the basic uh, uh, functions are still the same. It's an RPN, RPN calculator. The financial uh, functions and features are still the same uh, as the other uh, operations. Uh, the only thing that is different is that you have these new functions related to black schools that allows to do some uh, options, uh, calculations. Uh, let's see an example. Uh, for example, uh, let's see the, our current interest rate is like 6% a year. And let's say that I'm going to ca calculate a call option. Uh, spot price is like 100 and the strike is 102. Uh, let's say that the volatility of the asset is 25% a year. Note that I'm typing this as a percentage, not as a decimal. Uh, and of course, the time until expire or until exercise, like 60 days or two months. Since I put the rates as years or per year basis, I need to convert the, uh, the time uh, for a uh, years as well. So I need to divide by 365, put in N. Note that I have used the same financial registers and put a small label in the lower left of each one using the typical Black Scholes literature uh, letters, uh, T, R, S, and Sigma, and K. So it, if you are familiar with the Black Scholes and options in general, you will find the file at home with this nomenclature. Okay, let's calculate the, the price of, of fair value of this option, this call. So we click here, and you have, for these parameters that I just put there, we have this value, fair value for the, the, the call, 3.58. Uh, the put option value is in the wire register, so I just need to swap. So we have call and put options. Uh, the same operation calculates both values, giving the same parameters above here. Uh, besides the, the, the fair value, I also have these other black codes, Greeks, like uh, delta for call and put, uh, gamma for call and put, they actually the same value, always theta for call and put, and uh, vega, same value, and rho. Uh, for call input. Uh, as you can see here, in the original 12C, we have no function, no uh, orange function in this key. So I put the row here using this spare uh, function point. So they didn't take the place of any other, the other, any other function, uh, like here, like here, it took the place of bonds and depreciation. Uh, other functions that I have added are more of deductive value, are in D1 and D2, like in this, this key here. Uh, they are intermediate results of Black Scholes uh, formula. So, for example, for these parameters that I had put before, the D2 is this one and D1 is this one. Uh, also, I have here the uh, standard distribution normal distribution actually and here in this key i have the cumulative normal distribution 
These functions are also used in the Black Scholes formula, so they are still uh, for deductive value, but sometimes they can be useful. For example, I calculate the two and then the cumulative distribution for this. So this 44, 0.44 means that this cow option has like 44% of, of chance of being exercised. Uh, the option that I, the cow option that I had the values here two months and this interest rate, this volatility rate and this spot of the underlying asset and of course this strike. So uh, this is one case that this probability calculation is one case that the, the having these functions uh, in these keys could be useful for a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, of course, the cumulative distribution works for as statistic uh, norm uh, says. So you could use these functions for statistical calculations as well, not unrelated to options, if you like. Uh, other functions that I have added are implied uh, volatility calculation. So, for example, we had just calculated that the fair value for this option, this cow option is this one. So, let's say that the market price is, was actually four. So, what is the implied volatility for this market price of this cow option? That would be 27% uh, of volatility, not 25, as we had estimated here. The same for put. It's uh, employs a different key. Let's say that the put value is five, uh, the value in the market, of course, and then the implied volatility for this would be uh, 27 again, let's say six, and then, yeah. If I put this volatility here, of course, then I'll calculate the fair value, and then, of course, the, 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 the value, the fair value will just match the original volatility. So uh, this is actually in some cases more useful than calculating the fair value because the market value is normally what you have available when you want to find out the volatility uh, given the market value. Other functions that I have added are related to date manipulation. We have these ones here that are a shortcut to divide to convert uh, time in days, like said, say, say 60 days, or let's try another time, 30 days. And then this is calendar days. So I click here, it divides and puts the result straight on the N register. So uh, it's a shortcut to convert uh, time to expiration because most options have time uh, expressed in days, uh, at least in Brazil, but uh, the, the rates, volatility rate and interest rate are expressed in per year, so you always need to convert the time. So this is a shortcut for do that, to do that. Let's say that I want 22 days, but business days, then I can use this, this other function the divided by 252, and of course, the result is in the end already. Finally, I have added a function to calculate the number of business days between two any given dates. Uh, it follows the American calendar that says that we have eight more holidays besides the weekends. So it's 252 days in a year uh, business days. So let's say that April 17 of this year and then April 22 of this year of course, we have five calendar days between those days, those two dates. But then, uh, let's say I want to find out, sorry, the business days. Uh, sorry, I just messed up here. Enter for 22 this year. We should have like, yeah, two business days because 17 doesn't count, and 18 April was exactly the Good, good Friday. And uh, then you have Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, and these two business days are the next Monday, 21, and the Tuesday, 22. So uh, all moving holidays are always 
considered and calculated correctly by this function. So it works basically for any date uh, interval. Uh, so that's it. So this new version, in conclusion, it's uh, designed to support black scholes and uh, business dates calculation. I hope you like it. It's, as I said, it's available on the web and also for Android uh, and, for, and for iPhone and iPad and all the, all, all the iOS, Apple or from Apple uh, line of devices. So hope you like it and that's it for now. Goodbye.